Do you leave your lights on or the TV on when you sleep? And is your phone by your bedside? Guilty. Guilty. New research suggests that is bad for your heart. WBC's Dr. Malika Marshall shows us why you may want to shut the blinds when it's time for shut eye. We know a good night's sleep is good for our health. Now new research suggests you should close the blinds and curtains and turn down all the lights before bed. Do you prefer lights on or lights off? Lights off. I just think I would sleep better that way. A new study from Northwestern Medicine shows being exposed to even moderate light during sleep can harm cardiovascular function and increase insulin resistance, which are risk factors for heart disease, diabetes, and metabolic syndrome. When you're sleeping with the lights on, your heart rate goes up during the entire night while you're sleeping. And then the next day, your glucose measurements it showed that more insulin had to be secreted to be able to bring your glucose to a normal level. Exposure to artificial light during sleep is common. It's estimated up to 40% of people sleep with the TV on or a bedside lamp or light on in the bedroom. Researchers say get lots of bright light during the day. That can help protect you from some of the light that comes in during the night and improve your sleep through your circadian rhythms. Dr. Phyllis Z is lead author of the study. About two hours before you actually go to bed, start dimming it down. And then in your room, be, be aware of the light sources. Be aware of that and try to block that out. Block outdoor light with blackout shades or eye masks. Keep light color in mind. Red or orange light is less stimulating for the brain, so keep white or blue light away from the bed. And if you need a light in the bedroom, make it dim and close to the floor. Dr. Z says if you're able to see things really well in your bedroom, it's probably too light. But with all this talk about keeping a dark bedroom, got to keep safety in mind as well, especially for older adults. I can hear my mother saying, but I need to be able to see the cords on the ground. So she needs the, a little nightlight. That's right. uh, we were saying, what about people who listen to a podcast in the mm -hmm. middle of the night to help them fall back to sleep or have your cell phone on the bedside table? As long as it's dim light, mm -hmm. is that okay? And I think if you're just very quick about it, because I listen to audiobooks at night to get me back to sleep, look quickly, then put it down, close your eyes, oh, keep it dark. so hard. You, you have babies waking you up in the I night. I have babies, so. Doc. I have night lights on. <laughs> but you say counting sheep is good. It's actually scientifically proven. Counting sheep and put the sheep in costume as you count them. Look at that. <laughs> I love that. Love Fabulous it. costumes. All right, Dr. <laughs> Malika Marshall, thanks so much. We have much